This documentary looks at how gaming has changed over the last 40 years or so. But let's see what could it what could happen in the next 40 years first. This is the Oasis. It's a place where the limits of reality are your own imagination. You can do anything. Go anywhere. Like the vacation planet. Surf a 50-foot monster wave in Hawaii. You can ski down the pyramids. You can climb Mount Everest with Batman. Check out this place. It's a casino the size of a planet. You can lose your money there. You can get married. You can get divorced. You can, you can go in there. People come to the Oasis for all the things they can do, but they stay because of all the things they can be. Tall, beautiful, scary, a different sex, a different species, live action, cartoon. It's all your call. Yeah, please ignore the flashing names on the screen. This is an archive footage documentary, so some of the scenes are from films and will have credits in them. Devices were developed in the 1980s and were pl and could only be played in buildings of called arcades that were filled of these quite big consoles that were only capable of or rather made to play a single game apparently that's retro Games of the 80s had a simple structure, as in they weren't, they didn't have advanced, they weren't rendered, they were all pixely and 2D, but they were still challenging for players, but, but compared to games now, they seem relatively easy in concept, some of the more advanced games that are being played. And some may consider them dull. And opened a, a way for in many 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 more games to be made for this genre some better than others Time to skip ahead a bit, to the games of the early 2000s, where games had become three dimensional. Well, not gonna lie, this one doesn't look great. I mean, it may be early but still, you'd think a bit more. I see him! <laughs> this game well just 
look at the detail. It actually almost compared to the other one is superior in rendering, graphic detail, etc. And you won't believe this, there's only two years difference in them. That just says how fast this industry has changes and advances in its technology it uses for um, its games. Look at the detail in this game, it almost looks real apart from the big glowing square that's telling you where to go. Almost a location marker. I mean, in real life that would be incredibly helpful. Now look at this game. It was brought out the end of last year and it just looks so real. This just says how advanced this gaming industry evolved in the last 20 years. And the fourth series of the game we show, I showed at the beginning. I mean, compared per this to that, the, the last one I mean, you just think, wow. Games have de developed more than just the gra gra graphics, the effects. The, Yo, they've also Rich. had a developed plot, Captain the narrative, and given birth to complex characters. Yo, check it out. Huh? You can see the whole city from here. Whole lot of people out there, man. These game makers also whole think lot of on deep political issues yeah, and getting how politics and you politicians feel it. just are. No. And make us wonder if up. what we're seeing in the games also reflect real. I know it's going to be a hell of a, a real fight turning them that. back into people. Fucking A, man. Okay. They also make us feel emotions Have such as know? happiness. Do you know where my wire like from? in this scene right now. Yeah. You know I put them here somewhere. Something, darling. Hey, baby. Hey, you know, if you're busy, I could always come no. back. No. <laughs> hey, kiddo. Thank you. What the hell was that, you and Shell? Make us sad. He gave me the comm link. He gave us all comm links. He said they were gifts. You lied to me. He saw we couldn't win. This is our revolution, but... He owns us. Mario. I know Tom Sheldon. I worked with him for years, but you... are a friend. You need to tell me the truth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I dragged you into this. I forgive you. Oh! And... Make ah! it Always cover yourself, amigo! Oh, amusing. What's so important? Mario! Where are you? Hello? Oh, no. I've been turned into a cow. Only the kiss of a prince will set Mario free. Lucky for me, I'm not a prince. Come on, kiss my cow face. No. Morico? No. Mm. Where are you? Tell me where you are so I can kill you. Only your kiss will unlock the truth. I fucking kill you. Mm. Ah! Ah! I'm no longer my best friend. Don't be mad. We're down by the vineyard that used to be for the moon. Well, no special stock. Anything for Muriel. <laughs> Annika, welcome to Frigo and etc. Don't be jealous, Rick, okay? You're important too. Just. That's twice now I've saved your ass, Rodriguez. Thank you, Annika. Yes, device successful. 
Mario. She's so manly. I love it. How did you? The VR headset didn't take off as originally as everyone thought it would, but personally I think it just needs that game that'll make it a huge success and a genre of its own. You know, one that'll really hook in everyone, not just kids and teenagers, maybe even adults and, you know, not just basically everyone. I've looked at a game that have come out, new gaming techniques that I've already been done and released but I'm looking at now a game that is due to come out Watch Dogs Legion it's set to come out May of 2020 but it is also said to be one of the most ambitious open world games that have ever been developed so far let's have a look and see what they're saying will be in this game is that any Londoner could become your next recruit you can play as anyone and they've all got their own gameplay skills. See this charming chappy? That's Victor. Watch it, you dumb idiot. He only takes half the amount of damage after his nectar pint. Or four. <laughs> the amount of development and technology that must have gone into that is amazing. Uh, that's Sue, top-notch lawyer. Once in your team, she can get your operatives out of jail automatically. You don't even need to lift a finger. Nice one, Sue. And this is Alan. Old codger and veritable mad bastard. Increased damage with rifles and... Wait. May die randomly? R.I.P. Alan. Moving on. Everyone is different, so you have to decide what's best for your team. But why would these fine people want to join you? Well, everyone's got an origin story. I want you to help me get revenge on the gangster that killed my brother. Help them with their problem, and once they trust you, they will become playable characters. Each one of your new best friends is a unique gameplay build. So dust off your sorting hat and give them a class. Then level them up and unlock new perks. There are thousands of possibilities. Whether you've got a knack for gizmos, or you'd rather stalk people from the shadows, building a team with diverse skills will be critical to your success. In short, the gaming industry is an ever-evolving industry, using cutting-edge technology to enhance the experience of its gamers and the next 20 years of gaming could create the game that is as amazing as the game in the film Ready Player One. A game of advanced deep diving technology. Thank you for watching this archive footage documentary. Watching the signs, they gon' play me like a PlayStation if I'm playing on their station. But I'ma be the face of a generation. Kids with no patience or directions, never doubt or question my effort. Game on, game on. Hope you people ready. I'm reloaded and I hold my trigger finger steady.
but me playing my game. This a different league, a different bracket. I'm a different G, a different faction. I will never fall off. 